Mardi Gras in New Orleans. The days of debauchery that lead up to Ash Wednesday and 40 days of Lenten sacrifice. But the Crescent City doesn't have a corner on Mardi Gras. A thousand miles away in the Detroit Polish-American enclave of Hamtramck, there's a fatter Fat Tuesday happening. Punchki Day. Punchki, Punchki, Punchki. Punchki's part of my life. I grew up just outside of Hamtramck. It's like my national holiday. Is it really? This, this is my holiday. Okay, are you Polish or? No, not at <laughs> all. You just like Punchki. <laughs> I just like Punchki. Punchki Day has beer, beads, and music. But the centerpiece of the Punchki Day observance are the delicacies known as Punchki, fried supersized mounds of doughy goodness, 425 calories a piece with 25 grams of fat, infused with an array of fruity and creamy fillings. How many do you think you're gonna eat today? Me? Probably about six. 425 <laughs> calories for each of them, 25 grams of fat. Yeah. You'd have to run for 48 minutes to burn one off. We're gonna walk these back. <laughs> <laughs> so are Punchki just giant, dare we say, jelly donuts? Never, never eat a jelly donut, but I always eat a Punchki. It's not just the jelly donut, it's the greatest jelly donut. Calling a Punchki a donut is like calling a Cadillac a Pinto. Yeah, Cadillac and Pinto, right. <laughs> On the eve of Punchki Day at the new Martha Washington Bakery, Ivanka and Peter Petrovich and their entire extended family have been working round the clock in anticipation of the Punchki Day onslaught. You worked for 24 hours yes. straight. You slept for three and a half hours. Yeah. And now you're getting ready to work for another 24 another hours. Tour? Are, you, are they paying you overtime? Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> you want to work now? I, I want to work. OK, get the apron first. All right, the apron. Right. Nice, you look nice now. Thank you. <laughs> oh, this is all butter? Butter and sugar. This is all butter and sugar. First we mix, then we wait. So we're waiting for the dough to rise. Yeah. While the bakery was busy making punchki at a breakneck pace, I decided to test some homemade punchki just down the street. See how nice it's bubbling? That means that the grease is just perfect for it. It already smells great. <laughs> they always do. 84-year-old Teresa Witkowski is the winner of this year's punchki baking competition. No surprise given that she once baked bread for Pope John Paul II. Do you ever hope to be able to present a pope with a punchki? Oh, would that be an honor? <laughs> of course, it would be rude to enter a home in Hamtramck and not partake of Punchki. Very nice. You, you are the Julia child of Punchki. Next in line, right over here. As dawn breaks on Punchki Day, it's clear that it has all the hallmarks of a great holiday. Metered parking in Hamtramck is free. And the long lines are buzzing with anticipation. I want two dozen. You're offering to sell your spot in line. I'm selling my spot in line. There is a dark side, with punchki profiteers preying on the hungry. All I can say is may the best man win. Punchki Day even has its own mysterious ritual, the punchki eating contest. One. Go! 15 minutes of all you can eat. Come on, shove it in your mouth, guys. And after putting away 16 and a half punchki, Matthew Holowicki takes home this year's punchki cup. You were the 2007 pierogi eating champ. Now you're the 2008 punchki eating champ. Did you ever think this could happen? No, definitely not. Very, very, very happy. Perhaps what's most striking about Punchki Day is you don't even have to be Polish to celebrate. If you're Polish, raise your hand. Okay. Now, raise your hand if you're Polish today. Are you going to pray first? Well, of course. It's a day of giving thanks. Amen. 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 Enjoy. It's a day of family. I got to eat. And in the great American holiday tradition, it's about overdoing it. Oh, okay.